Hello everyone and welcome back to the shit stain that is Fortress 26. We're in a bit of a perilous position right now. We've got like three killer cats that Jesus Christ. <coughs> I just finished my dinner and so there's like this one little piece of food that's like, oh yeah, you're gonna talk now? Here, let me mess things up for you in your throat. Oh beautiful. Anyway, back to setting the scene here in this dramatic briefing. We've got like three killer cans over here. We've got like three of them over here. We've got a dreadnought way back here. It's gonna need multiple turns to get around because he's a little pansy who didn't get dropped off closer to the combat zone. We've got some land speeders here and some swift claws, which are not adequate at all, but I mean, the land speeder is. He tries. The swift claw, well, they're expendable. Anyway, we're gonna be hurting a lot. There's a ton of orc infantry and just things in general over here right now. That's gonna be a pain. It's gonna be a bloody pain. Right, now that we've set the scene, let's get back to Salter's Reach. Because it's gonna get good. We've got a lot of half-broken orcs over here right now. Which is nice. But the trick is gonna be, we've got three killer cans here. Two are like almost half hit points. We get some melter guns here. They all take great personal risk here today by moving up and trying to put some flanking fire into these guys. There we go, that's a good crit. That's actually going to help. We have some bolter packs available as well, so we should so we might be able to kill like one or two here. We'll put some fire into this guy first. Uh, I think we'll put fire into him next, because he's on one morale. There we go. He is now broken, so he should be out of this fight. This guy is shaken, we still have an action for him. We'll move you past here, you've got crack and penetrate around, you should be able to mess him up. Then I want you to put some shots into this guy. And yeah, we hit the swift ball on the back, but honestly... They're... They're disposable. Screw them. You, keep an eye back there. You, watch over there. As for these guys, watch over there. We've now got two killer cans over here on perilously low hit points. You're all out of actions. You, Krom, you probably need to get your butt in here. We've got like 10 move, it's not great. We've got a 95% chance to hit these knobs. That's your last action. Alright. Oh. Yeah, out of action. I, was, I thought it read out of sight. Well, you're, we're gonna move up the reserves here because, well, they're gonna be needed. You guys get the Blood Rage heal for melee. I mean, I'm gonna have to move them over here, don't I? So we're gonna fist this guy to death. Regen some hit points on him. Oh, we still have an action on these guys. Well, in that case, we're gonna murder these flame, these burner boys. I'd love to do something more productive with them, but honestly, they need to die. You have some shots into the scorch knobs, maybe. Yeah, it's a 20% chance. It's not very likely. Having said that, though, that does clear out this flank quite a bit. We got some slug knobs down here, but that's about it. We still have our dreadnought available over here, although. I'm not really sure what to do. We could go for a flank on that guy, possibly risk losing our dreadnought doing this, but honestly, we're at the point where it's do or die right now. If we can kill this one off. Oh, for God's sake! We are not very lucky today. It's, uh, it appears to be a common theme. Hopefully, we buggered them enough that they won't try much. This flank is in uh, the shits, as I uh, elegantly try to explain it. We get a free action grenade He's here. Dying. We can burn them. Although I want to move these guys up like as close as I can. I'll probably take a move over here, lure out some overwatch fire from that shit can. There's three of them over there, as you can see. And the dreadnought support is nowhere to be found. I'm gonna burn these bastards. Hit their morale hard. Because they need to run. There we go. One of them's broken. That'll have to do. We could melt the guns right here. I'll, uh. 
Move you up as far as I can. Kill a can with the rocket. It's going to be a bit more dangerous, I reckon. So we'll put some shots into him. He's down to 100 hit points, which is pretty good. Um, those boys are panicked, not broken. It's a shame. I'll move you around here, try and finish off these boys. It's a calculated risk. There we go. That should also keep you somewhat safe in the line of battle here. Arnbjorn are going to take the majority of the risk. We can maybe kill this killer can. That would be extremely appreciated. It would reduce the number of guns firing at us at least. Beautiful. And that wreck does block their line of advance. Those melters are definitely dead, but we had to, you know... Sometimes you gotta make a sacrifice. Because... They apparently don't know how to balance this map. You know, they give you a lot of crappy units like these Blood Claw Pack. And they're only good for, ex you know, buying time, basically. It's uh, not great. Or they give you a leader that doesn't have any actual weapons. <laughs> oh, he does manage to get a grenade kill there. And this Dreadnought, he's, he's just fucking useless. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, we're going to have to end the turn and bend over and lose a bunch of units. It's not going to be pretty. Hi. You should try to melee a Dreadnought. What the hell did you think was going to happen? Kind of wish you would have shot the, uh, the killer can right in front of you. Target prioritization and all that. These guys just were made to regret everything in their life choices. As predicted, the Melters are now eating the dirt. They're still alive for now, but that ain't gonna last for too much longer. This guy charges us in the melee. Don't seem to do a lot of damage to him. That's better. Yeah, definitely move away before shooting. That's a great idea. Thank God for orc intelligence. That dreadnought's probably dead as well. It's taking heavy damage, and it doesn't look like it's gonna get any uh, any easier. You're not gonna slash back, no? No, that's a silly thing, right? Yeah, I'm stupid for suggesting it. This is melee. The AI loves to walk through walls still. Like it's nothing. It's great, yeah. Constantly cheating AI, I swear to god. Oh yay, war buggies, of course. We need a fuckload of war buggies to rush us now. They just happen to move past my dreadnoughts. But, um, yeah, my terminators with flamers. Oh great, they instantly kill that pack. Why the fuck not, right? I don't like how these missions are designed. It's too unbalanced. I know we're like... Our quality is way above them in theory. Although, our reinforcements have been uh, lackluster and poorly deployed. So it's just a frustrating mission more than anything. Jesus Christ. Well, they're not lacking company, I can tell you that for a fact. Fuck me. Oh, come on, is that all you got? <laughs> oh god, there's a million Gretchen moving in now. So the turn is going to take five minutes longer because they just brought in all the reinforcements on this planet, probably. I do wish I didn't go overboard with like, oh yeah, we'll give you movement speed times ten. In a move that made about zero goddamn sense. I appreciate the effort, but... You went a bit too far. Give us, like, variable speed controls or whatever. Oh! Nice to know that my guys have taken their Overwatch shots! Yeah! The consistency in this game is all over. Not gonna slash him back? Could have been useful, maybe? Nah, that would be too useful. Can't make it too easy for the player. 
I don't know. It's shit like this that makes me want to not play the second campaign. Which is a shame because you actually get the uh, the Titan there, the Knight. Uh, it's not... The Imperial Knight's not really a Titan. It is sort of. It's the, it's the closest thing you'll get in this game for now. Please murder this guy. Thank you. Way to do something useful for once. Uh, right, we can move to about here. Which we shall. We captured a point back, which is sweet. Melt guns. Next to no fucking damage, of course. How about that one? That's better. You. Get him. Oh, come on. Inconsistent fucking damage. Uh, I wish they would ha wouldn't hide all those fucking dice rolls. Because it's like, yeah, we're going to get fucked by all the damage rolls. You're never going to know what's going to happen. And we won't tell you. Just fuck you. Uh, well, one flank is clear. Right. Dreadnought. All ass. Oh, cool. Yeah. More crap. Let's miss two of our shots. Great! Not even dead. You should have been fucking dead. Come on. Uh, we turn right back to the bullshit. Oh, you have an afterburner. God, I love that afterburner. We can't actually fall back at this at this point because this flank is just swarmed right now. I could take a move here and flank like the burn those orc boys and whatever. I'm gonna have to do that just to give my terminators a chance to push back, maybe. Well, Lord knows that ain't gonna happen. We're committed now. That's it, two broken units. We might be able to fist this guy to death. Oh, not looking too bad. Melt a gun pack. Um, run like the wind. Probably. For us and the All Father. And then fail completely. Twice. 80% chance to hit. They both fly off into the sunset. Fucking brilliant. This wouldn't be half so bad if the game at least gave you some information to go on. But aside from like accuracy and things, which is good to know, clearly it's for bloody vital to know. They don't seem to give you much in info that you actually end up needing. Like in melee, damage potential is now medium. Sometimes it's high, sometimes it's low. Fuck knows how that works. There we go, we can get some reinforcements in here finally. That, that bloody rhino showed up just in time. Not that Eggle's gonna do much against some million orcs here, but he can try. He can bloody well try. Also, Blood Claw, still useless. Let's be honest, that Blood Claw. They're good at like the basic melee kills right now, but honestly. I wouldn't bet any money on them being very useful beyond this point. We're gonna kill this killer can if you don't mind. I would like to see it dead. It's a good experience for our dudes here. They don't have any way of healing, which is a bit of a shame. A bit of a problem. There's also no way, as far as I know, to like stop them from reinforcing. Which could have maybe been useful. I'm gonna blast through this fucking wall because fuck it. We have a dreadnought. We have somewhere we need to be. We're supposed to hold the fort, not destroy it, but you know. Desperate times, desperate measures. Hi. I have an axe. I would like to introduce you to said axe. Suckers. Oh, sure, a battle wagon! Fucking why not? It's Christmas, boys! 
It's not like you've sent enough shit at us. God. The fucking balance, it's just... Fucked. It's just fucked. It's not even funny anymore, it's just straight up fucked. With all the information hiding, there's like no way to know what you're doing right, what you're doing wrong. We're just sent in to fucking die like the Imperial Guard is. And you know when shit's getting compared to the Imperial Guard, they get well and truly screwed in this universe. Fuck me. But yeah, we're, we're gonna push the advance. We're gonna push the attack home, obviously. There we go. At least get some, like, crap out of this. You. Can't hit the killer can. We can murder those shooter boys. Do a nice amount of damage to them. There we go. That should take a little bit of the pressure off here. Although, who am I kidding? It's probably not going to. We can recover morale if we need to. But, honestly, my morale is the shakiest right now. Because this game likes to pull a lot of shit. It doesn't pull any punches. Oh no. Cleanse. There we go. Let's see how little damage we do against these guys. Yeah, see? we. If, according to the first attack, we could have easily killed that one, but he's on five hit points. Because of course he is. Ah, uh, we are so... Well and truly, utterly fucked. And they just keep flinging shit at us. It's like, at this point, their force limit is easily like eight or nine times as high as ours is. Those killer cans. Where the fuck did those just came from? Oh, yeah, sure. So now on their turn, they get more fucking reinforcements. There's fucking war buggies over there. No indication that they're about to show up. This is poorly designed shit. At least give me a fucking clue. Oh, now those are dead. Why? Because the game decided to fuck me. No reason. Just, you know, here's some war buggies for you to fucking die with. I'm not a bad player, but I couldn't have known that, you know? It's just a hey he, fuck you! Eat shit, player! You like this game? Think again! Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna do the second campaign after this. I'm, I'm not gonna keep putting up with this. This feels cheap. This feels worse than cheap. This feels poorly designed. Now, I like the game overall, I like the aesthetic, but it has some problems, like, fuck me! You know, we're, we're still dealing with the last waves, here's fucking more killer cans! You want any reinforcements? No! Go stuff yourself! Reinforcements are all busy! I don't know, they're reading a magazine or whatever. Couldn't tell you what they're doing. Oh, that like in the universe orcs send in giant blocks. I totally get that. But at the same time, this just feels fucking cheap. <laughs> yeah. We're now dead because of that. No reason. Just decided we could start eating shit. If we ever do get any reinforcements, it's gonna be one fucking dreadnought like in the corner of the map right here. You ain't gonna do shit with him. This guy just died for no reason. Because the game decided to fuck me. Uh, not too happy about that. I'm starting to question the game uh, developer, actually. There we go, do some melee damage back. I'm starting to really question, like, are you sure you know what you're doing, mate? No difficulty controls for the entire game either. It's just, you know. You either do it this our way or you don't do it at all. Oh, fucking fantastic! Hey! Have more killer cans! Clearly! Yeah! Fucking A! 
Either we get a fucking shadow sword right now, or a f an army of bane blades or whatever the fuck, or I'm just gonna stop this mission at some point. The bullshit is stacking too high right now. She's getting insane. I can't... This can't be justified anymore at this point. Just a giant fucking middle finger to the player. Like, hey, you made it all this far into the campaign. Here, eat a massive steaming pile of shit. Oh, goody! They're too far to reach the action. What a fucking coincidence. Yeah, we don't have any range on that. That would be, uh... That would be too useful. No, oh, fuck you. We're gonna send in a million enemy units, and then you get, like, four. Have fun eating shit. We'll be here for, with seconds if you're done. Where are you going? Get out of here! John Point, I'm just gonna quit. This is just getting too ridiculously fucking imbalanced. The game that didn't guys even know how to balance a game at this point. I'm starting to question that. Right, you. Fuck him up. There you go, that's more like it. Now mess up that battle wagon, will ya? Good. Now flame that. Hopefully we should be able to kill that war buggy. Huh. It's a miracle. Yeah, I might finish the mission. I might not. You know, you just keep throwing like immeasurable piles of shit at me at some point I'm gonna call you out of your bullshit and I'm gonna quit. This isn't fun anymore. This is an exercise in frustration and torture at this point. Hi boys. How do you like flamers? Well, give me some terminators at least. Instead of fucking blood claw, which are useless in every single way possible. But no. No, you just get to eat shit. You get to take it. If you dare complain, oh. Alright, let's murder you. Lovely. And I'll murder you. At least one of you. Alright, next up. You can hit him with a power fist. Oh wow, see? Melee damage, so inconsistent. One hit did 10 damage, one did 130. You can't make accurate predictions on anything. You have no idea, like, how much damage is gonna do. Medium damage? Am I gonna murder fuck one of these guys in one hit, or is it gonna tickle him? There we go. Well... Shot into them. This might just fucked anyway. Yeah, just, we'll put, like, three guys in... In media shooting range, because why not? You know, you like punishment? Here, here's a badly designed game for you. Uh. You know, I'm just gonna lay it down here. I'm way too pissed off right now. This is not gonna be a fun video if I keep going. I'm just gonna quit. Let me know down below what you think. You know, do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm wrong? Y you know, you could think that way. At least let me know why, you know? Give me arguments. I've given you my side of the uh, argument. I would like to see yours. I'm gonna take to the forum as well to see if anyone else has had some issues with the insane way this map is balanced. And, well, if people seem to defend it, I'm gonna call them out on it because this is just... This is just... I'm struggling to use words that, you know... I'm struggling to not just swear for minutes on end at this point this is this is not entertaining so yeah we're gonna leave it here for now 
I might return, I might not. God knows at this point. Until next time, have a good one, folks.